All right, properties of parallelograms, rhombi, and trapezoids. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of note taking here. So we got to go over the different properties of, of these three different types of shapes. So this first drawing here, this is a parallelogram. Okay, now, as the name entails, parallelograms have, so here are the properties, opposite sides. Opposite sides are parallel. Okay. In addition, opposite sides are also equal. And lastly, adjacent angles. add up to 180, so 180 degrees. Okay, so opposite sides, as you can see, opposite side, these are parallel. Okay, this side and this side are parallel. And they're also, opposite sides are also equal. So these sides are equal and these sides are equal. So as the name entails parallelograms, that means that the opposite sides are equal and they're parallel. And the adjacent angle, so like this angle and this angle, Angle K and angle J, they would add up to 180 degrees. Angle I and angle L would also add up to 180 degrees. Okay, next up is rhombi. The singular is a rhombus. Okay, so we'll call it a rhombus. All right, so rhombi have the same properties, the exact same properties as parallelograms. However, the only thing that is different, this is the only thing I'm going to write, is that all sides are equal okay everything else holds true for parallelograms same properties as parallelograms with the exception of all sides are equal okay so in this case this side is equal to this side is equal to this side is equal to this side that is the only difference between a rhombus and a parallelogram okay so Next up, trapezoids. So trapezoids is the last quadrilateral that we care about in this topic. So trapezoids have exactly one pair of parallel sides. It's exactly one pair, no more than one, no less than one, okay? For example, this side and this side are parallel. And that is the only requirement for a trapezoid, that there be exactly, exactly one pair. No more, no less. And that's it.